First up tonight, a West Side Grand Rapids bar being forced to close its doors for 14 days following a deadly drunk driving crash. Joey's Tavern on Fulton Street will start the shutdown next month. News says Heather Walker is here now with details. Heather? Well, Joey's Tavern was cited for three violations, all related to serving Jeffrey Longstreet, who died in a car crash after leaving the bar last year. Now, family says his blood alcohol level was 3.7 when he crashed his vehicle into a tree in the city of Walker. That crash happened just before 4 in the afternoon on December 15th of last year. Longstreet was 33 years old. Investigators learned he was leaving Joey's Tavern where he was served drinks. The Kent County Medical Examiner ruled it as an accidental death. Because of those violations related to his death, Joey's will close January 10th through the 24th and must pay a $1,400 fine. Now, the man's family says that's not enough. They want the bar's liquor license revoked. That's all you get for losing a life, but what does it take to get it revoked? I mean, you know, it just seems like the laws are very lenient. The fines are not, not enough of a deterrent because that's really nothing. $1,400 is nothing. They can make that in a lunch hour, you know? It just doesn't seem like it's enough of a punishment for someone who lost their life. Joey's bar declined an on-camera interview. Instead, they responded to the ruling and Longstreet's death by saying it's an unfortunate circumstance and a sad situation. In studio, Heather Walker, News 8.